truly, you're one of my favorite commentators. True, like, truly, you know, um, I, I, I've always been a fan of Fight to Win. Seth has been on the show a couple of times. He's been a huge supporter of me. I love that guy, man. I, I hate when people give him That's a hard sad. time because he's a great guy. He's a great, great person. A great um, guy. So, Love How did you to. get into commentating with Fight to Win? And and I want to, I have a couple of questions around that, but I guess we'll start there. All right. So um, truth be told, I know uh, I'm very grateful for the kind words regarding the commentating. I did my first show May 30th of this year. I'm actually really new to the game and blessed that uh, since my first show, I've had a lot of opportunities. You know, I've gotten a lot of, or a handful, a good handful already. I've done, you know, I did tap cancer out. I got to do fight to win. I've done four or five MMA shows. Um, and that's just since the spring. Um, I've always loved commentary. Mm -hmm. I've always, uh, I've always nerded out on the commentators. You know, I love, right. I love watching UFCs from top to bottom. Like I'm not just forwarding to the fights. Like I want to hear the breakdowns yeah. and I have the people that I like and I respect, you know, and I respect. So obviously I, I've always kind of been into it. Um, and yeah, you know, I just, uh, I'm not, I don't know if I'm retired from fighting or not. Um, I'm kind of coming off of a, a slew of injuries, we'll say. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, after 2020 quarantines going on, everyone's sitting at home trying to figure out their next move. Yeah. A lot of soul searching going on. I realized I really, I really wanted to pursue the commentating thing. Mm. About a year or so ago, I started sending out messages to a promoter I'm really close with. Uh, shout out Brian Angelo from Fight Car Entertainment who gave me my first shot doing this. I hit him up. I said, hey, give me a crack at, you know, behind the mic. I yeah. think I'm pretty, I think I could be good, Yeah, you know, yeah. and uh, he had me on and kind of, it's just been, you know, it's all kind of been going real fast since. Awesome, man. I feel like you found something. Sometimes people just, it's a fish to water, you know, and people have gifts and they find it or, or they find, you know, some, they just diverge, you know, and it's, it's a beautiful thing to watch. And you've always, you have natural charisma, but you're, you are very articulate, but, and again, I, I like commentating too. I'm a nerd again. And I'll give a reference like Robin, Robin Black's been on this show. Like I'm a fan of commentators, you know, and how they think. And, and again, why I really appreciate your voice, I guess is probably to hear you explain it, but because you are an ex fighter and I like jujitsu. So I really like your, your voice, you know, and the way that you articulate your messaging and stuff. So, I mean, I guess, how do you do that? Do you just sort of, do you, let me ask this, I guess I want to try to ask this appropriately. When you're commentating, are you just speaking to what you see? Like, hey, this is what's happening here. Or are you trying to be more descriptive in what you're seeing and as to why? Like, this is likely leading. This is triangle might go to an arm bar, for example. Sure. So, no, it, it makes it makes perfect okay. sense. So every show, um, big or little, I try to come as prepared as possible, right? I try to know all the fighters on the card. Um, which is tricky, like I fight to win and I'm doing five hours of commentary, oh, but you know, do nice. best, right? Um, I call it like I see it. You know, I, I tend to I tend to take the play-by-play -play role, right? So we've got to, usually I'm on the desk with another expert, right? Um, whether it's a fighter, jiu-jitsu black belt, somebody like that. Um, I'll call it like I see it. I'll give my two cents, but I'm also not afraid to you know, pass it over to my expert. Right. And I think, I think for me, that tends to be the smoother formula. Sure. Um, just because I have a jujitsu background mm -hmm. doesn't mean my perspective could, I couldn't really use a perspective of the experts sitting next to me. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, um, that's kind of quickly become kind of my formula. You know, yeah. I, I'm ready. I can talk to you about it. I can tell you that I think that triangle is probably going to turn into a normal plata, right. but what else do we see over here? And that's when I try to, I try to work as a team, you know, as best I can. Yeah. Yeah. It makes perfect sense. You know, one thing, again, I really like about your perspective is I feel like you, you're aware that it's a show too, you know, and there's, there's an entertainment level to that too. And I guess, and I'll say a tribute to your partners a lot of the time too, you can't do something sure. like that alone. Right. Um, so yeah, that's pretty, it's pretty awesome to hear you sort of describe, describe that and kind of help us understand how that unfolds. Um, yeah.